and welcome back to another video about this BBC micro bit. Um, it should have all been released to schools by now, so everybody should be um, getting a free one with uh, the teachers. So I'm just going to capitalise on the fact that there's not much out there right now. And the last video I made about chasing a coin around the screen, yeah, it was all right. But let's take it right back to the early days where the um, space invaders and things like that. So let's build a mini space invaders. To keep the video short, I'll just create a character, move it left and right, and you press the buttons and it fires a bullet, and then I'll leave you guys to put the alien in or um, make some video responses or even comment. So let's get straight to it. So we're going to create code. I'm going to use, hmm, go on then, I'll use the block editor again, but this has intrigued me. I'll have to build it for that next. Here we go. So, we've got the um, full screen going, we can see everything. So, the first thing you do when you're creating a character in um, the micro bit is you've got to create a variable. So, a variable, we put set, and we're going to create a new variable. We're going to call it the ship. Um, we're going to go OK, and that has to be created as a sprite if you want it to be like a singular character on the, on the actual board. So we're going to create sprite uh, and we'll set it to the bottom of the actual stage. So that's 2 on the X and um, 4 on the Y. Okay, you can quickly test it. And there we go, we can see our guy is right here. So then what do we need to do? We need to get into a big loop. Most games, when the game starts, just go into a loop, do stuff forever. So while true, do something. Well, what are we going to do? If we... If we tilt the machine, so we need to do some logic. If we tilt the machine, which is input, so if we uh, say accelerate, so if we tilt the x and it's less than zero, then we are going to change this position to the left. So we go um, into your change the X of our ship. So we can right click on this, uh, click on create a get ship. We can change the X of the ship by, and if we're going that way, it's minus one. So we've got that going. Uh, duplicate all this, duplicate, you get the whole thing again, put it straight underneath it. If it's greater than zero, um, it's greater than zero, then we are going to change the x of the ship by plus one. So just change that back to one. So let's check if that's working. And there you go. Move it left and right. Ship moves nice. Right, so now we need to go if we press the button. So again, if we go to logic, if we press, that's an input. So if we press the A button, oh wait a minute, yeah, if, alright, okay, if we go to logic and we go to the OR, so if the A button is pressed, duplicate that, or the B button is pressed, because I've got a feeling when I'm emulating here, I'll only be able to hit the B because when I go over here, it's going to tip to the left, in it? But if you were playing this on the real thing, that wouldn't be a problem. But just for my testing, I better, I better do this. And so if A is pressed or B is pressed, we are going to create another bullet. So let's duplicate that. Only when we press the button do we want a bullet to be created. So a new variable. So set a bullet to hmm, create a sprite at, and we want to create it at the position of the ship. So I wonder if there's something in here. Ah, oh, there we go. So create a sprite at the X of create a get ship and then duplicate that, and a Y of the get ship. Oops. 
Yeah, why of ship. So you're going to create a bullet at the X of the ship and Y at the ship when you press the button. So let's see if that works. You do that. You press the B and there you go. There's my bullet. Nice. There you go. Oh, lovely. Right, so. Let's reset that. Uh, what is the reset in this? Nah. Right, so. When we've created the bullet, we want it to move upwards. Right, so we've got to go into the loop. Ah, perfect. Uh, is it four going up? One, two, three, four. Right, so repeat four times. Um, you're going to change the Y of your bullet. If you go to game, you're going to change the Y of your bullet. I don't no, you don't want that. You want to duplicate the bullet. No, I don't want the set either. I want to create a get bullet. Change the Y of your bullet by and if we're down here we're going upwards, which is a minus one. Change the Y of the bullet by minus one. Let's see if that works. Oh god, I think that's moving Ah yeah, it is, it's just moving too fast. We need to slow it down. Uh, there you go, pause. So change it, I don't know, I don't know how fast this is gonna be, let's have a look. Uh, run it, press the button, oh, yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, yeah, but we've got a problem here, so let's fix that. So, uh, if, 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 if. Wait a minute, do we put that inside the repeat? Yeah, we do. So it's going to keep checking if the Y of the bullet is equal to zero. So if the Y of the bullet, so if we look at here, the Y of the, if the Y of, oh, we're going to have to uh, do logic. If the Y of the bullet if the Y of the bullet, no, I don't. Why do? I, why does he keep making me a set? I don't want that. I wanna. I wanna create a get. There you go. If the Y of the bullet is less than or equal to, because it's never going to be less than, because it stops at zero. So less than or equal to zero. If the Y of the bullet is less than or equal to zero, then what we want to do is set the brightness of the bullet. Oh, it's already there. Set the brightness of the bullet. Oh, that's really saved us some time. Set the brightness of the bullet to nothing so that it literally looks like it's disappeared. I think that'll do it. Let's have a go. Run. Cool. Cool. Yeah, man. So I'm not sure how long this video has been. I want to keep them around five minutes or so. Yeah, well, it's been about eight minutes. So there you go. That's how you create a basic Space Invaders using this micro bit. Uh, if somebody can create a enemy, which is just the same as making a ship really, but get it to um, move on its own across the X and if it hits an edge bounce, put it in a separate script over here. I might follow it up with another video if um, people can't get it. But um, thanks for watching and yeah, you just have a bit of fun with this, this looks really good. Get a score going as well. Thanks for watching.